I am a jack of all trades. I'm a renaissance woman. I refuse to be held back by algorithmic limitations. Hey guys, this week I just want to make some spring themed crafts for my home. I have a bunch of stuff that is either going to be kind of a thrift flip or a DIY, a lot of upcycling. And I think I want to start with these tapered candles. So let me clear my workspace and get set up to work on those. A wild morning dove has appeared. I think it sees me. So a few weeks ago, I was at a craft store and they had these gorgeous tapered candles that had dried flowers pressed onto them and they were so pretty, but it just felt like something I could make myself and save eight or nine dollars. So I'm going to attempt that today. I went to my local thrift store earlier this week and found, thankfully found a set of white taper candles because the first thrift store that I went to only had these and they're kind of crusty. I don't know if I'm going to end up using them. And then I will be using some flowers I pressed from last spring. I actually don't know how they look. I haven't opened these books since I pressed the flowers in here. And the way that I'm thinking I will attach the dried flowers is just with wax, with melted wax. So I'm gonna start burning a couple of these tea lights. My first thought was to use Mod Podge, but I feel like this is probably flammable. <laughs> so let me get those started burning so that that can melt down. And then we'll see how my dried flowers are looking and see what I have to work with. I think I just have one set in this. Oh, I literally have, oop. Sorry about that. I literally just have one flower in here. What even is this? I don't remember squashing this. Oh, it's really pretty though. What are you? Mystery flower. That's a gorgeous flower and I don't remember pressing it, but we can definitely use that. And then there should be a bunch of tiny flowers in this one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Here's a bunch of little tiny ones that I probably just picked from around the yard. Honestly though, weeds have some of the best flowers. Okay. These are a bunch of those early spring blooms. I think they're called Virginia spring beauty that we get all through the woods. Little pink flowers. Oh, and then these are some of my favorite. These are the tiny little little blue flowers that pop up all over the yard. Those are going to be really good for the candle. We will use those as well. I think that's it. So I'm going to wait a few more minutes to start putting the flowers on these taper candles because I need the tea lights to melt down a little bit more. So while I'm waiting for that, I actually have been considering decorating these candlesticks that I have, which I will probably end up just putting these taper candles into. They look a little big for the stand. Anyway, I kind of don't love these candlesticks. I did at first when I first thrifted them like two years ago. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to paint them. I am going to add, oh dang it, where's my basket of stuff? Hold on. I am going to add fake moss because I am a gremlin. Yeah, let's let's get to adding some moss to these bad boys. And to be honest, these kind of look crusty, like whoever owned them before didn't really take very good care of them. Leaning into that aged appearance and just making them look even more rustic and dilapidated might be fun. That might work. If I could get these daggone stickers off. The question is, which color. And this stuff is so messy. Oh my gosh, this stuff is messy. But I think what I want to add first is this like powdery blended tuft earth blend stuff. This is all technically for miniature model making. I'm just stealing my husband's craft supplies basically. Oh my land. Okay, I did not expect that to run out like that. Oh no, what is happening? It's kind of yellowy. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. Okay, well, yeah, let's just go ahead and start adding the big chunks of moss because I think my glue gun is ready. Let's find out. This could potentially be disastrous. What if I hate it? I'm stuck with it. You know what I could do? I could sprinkle some of this in between so it fills in the cracks. Get in there. Okay. 
Okay, I don't want to go like the whole way around. I just want to add like little bits and tufts of moss, but I do want to make sure that there's not like really obvious hot glue strings and stuff. That drives me nuts. And then let's add some on the stem. Oh my gosh, these hot glue threads are going to be the death of me. By the way, have your glue gun on low temp when you do stuff like this, since I'm, you know, basically mashing my fingers into it. I trimmed off any crazy flyaway moss bits, then I used the craft glue to fill in gaps with the tuft material. My camera looks crooked, but I don't feel like fixing it. So I have my candlesticks over here drying. I really hope that craft glue dries clear. And then while I was at it, I went ahead and added some moss to this little wreath that I thrifted for my door. You know, I might just go ahead and add moss to the whole apartment while I'm at it. Now that that took like an hour to add moss to everything, we can finally start painting our candles because these are very melted. So my thought is that I can just take some melted wax, put it on the candle, and then press the dried flower on top of that. And to do this, I have a couple old grubby paintbrushes because there's a high probability uh, these will be destroyed in this process. So just don't use your favorite paintbrushes would be my recommendation. Let's start with these little blue flowers. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna need tweezers. Okay, let's do some wax. Pick up the flower. No, get, and then see if we can just Press that on there, kind of. I wonder if I can put wax over it to like seal it in place. The wax just like immediately, immediately hardens. No, this is not working at all. I just broke the flower. Hmm, we're gonna have to try a different approach. I am convinced that I can do this though. I'm convinced that this is possible. I'm kind of worried I might have to use Mod Podge, but then I'd only be able to burn the candle down to where the flowers start. I think I'm gonna just have to Mod Podge them. Okay, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm going to use wax for the initial placement, and then I think I am gonna have to go over it with Mod Podge to seal it in. We'll see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through and just attach them all first with wax. I did end up using Mod Podge to seal the dried flowers in place, which means I won't be burning these candles past a certain point, but it was very effective for sealing the flowers onto the candle. I repeated this same process on another candlestick with the little pink flowers. So this is incredibly tedious, attaching all the delicate little flowers and hoping that they don't rip. So I'm gonna stop with just making the two of them for now. It looks a little messy up close, but that's okay. I, I still think it looks really cute. And then I think my candlestick holders are dry. So let's go set these up. Okay, well, that first project ended up kind of being two projects. I wasn't planning on putting moss on the candlestick holders, but it just felt right. It just felt like the right thing to do. So now let's move on to our second thing, which should be, hopefully, <laughs> much simpler, much easier, and that's just painting a light switch cover, which I may also add moss to. I can't be stopped. So I thrifted this set of light switch covers a little while ago, and if you watched my sewing room tour, you may have seen that I already used one in this room. I don't think there's anywhere else in the apartment that I can use one that would make sense. Unfortunately, these don't fit the light switches that we have in this apartment, so I'm really only able to use this in this room for the time being, but I just thought it'd be really fun to make one with a painted design on it and maybe put some moss on top of that. Yeah, let's get set up and let's just start painting. I really hope this is easier than the last project. I started by painting the basic outline of my ferns with gesso so the colors would be more vibrant against the wood. 
I do wish I had chosen a lighter, more yellow-based green for my ferns, however, as this deep green makes them look a bit like pine trees. Adding some lighter green on top did help, but I'm still not in love with the ferns. They're just okay. I then repeated more or less the same process that I did with the candlesticks, just using hot glue to attach moss in a few spots and sprinkling a bit of the tuft material over some thin layers of the craft glue. And the last thing I want to make is an embroidered banner, like a bunting banner, using this old scrap linen fabric that I have. This actually came from a pair of pants that I thrifted, ended up not wearing them. I think they were the wrong size or just they fit weird. I just made a little stencil out of an old cardboard box and traced that onto my pieces of fabric. I didn't cut out my triangles yet because I wanted to make sure that I could fit the fabric into my little embroidery hoop. I want to do lavender flowers, daisies, and again, ferns. I'm gonna do a test on this scrap of fabric to see if what I'm planning in my brain will translate to reality. Once I finish the embroidery, I'm just gonna, you know, cut them out. And then I think I'm gonna put buttonholes on either end of the triangle so that I can lace twine through it to hang it up. That's the plan anyway. So I'm gonna pull out my laptop and pull out some reference photos that I saved, and then I shall choose my colors. This is just very satisfying to look at. I began with the lavender flower and very quickly realized I would need to add a stabilizer to the back of the fabric when I moved on to the actual bunting. This linen is very wibbly wobbly. For the lavender, I also need to switch the leaves so that the longer leaves are at the bottom, and I think I'll use the full strand of embroidery floss rather than splitting it into three strands like I did here. For the daisy, I wasn't loving how bulky it looked using satin stitch, so I may simplify it to just a lazy daisy, which I think will work fine because the other two designs are going to be oversimplified as well. The general design I had in mind for the ferns was working out just fine, but again, I just need to go with a lighter, more yellow-based green. But it was at this point I realized I had to admit defeat. So it's close to midnight. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it, guys. <laughs> so I got the candlesticks done and the candlestick holders, as well as the light switch cover. Unfortunately, I vastly underestimated how long doing this embroidery would take. I really should have started this earlier this week, but there's been so much to do in the garden and just outdoors in the woods and and this just kept getting pushed back so I, oh and my head is killing me yeah so i'm not getting this embroidery done <laughs> anytime soon i have a good bit done on my test embroiders that's not at all what you call it i have a good bit done on my test embroideries to just give me information on what i want to do differently or what i want to change also i need to get more white embroidery floss. I don't have enough. So uh, yeah, the embroidered bunting is going to have to wait, which I'm kind of bummed about. I was really excited to get that done. And you know, I could just edit that out of the video, but I think I'm going to keep my unfinished project in here because it is still something that I'm working on and going to be finishing in the near future. Um, just not today. <laughs> I really want to go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these little crafts that I wanted to get up to this week. Generally, the algorithm hates when I branch out like this and do something that is not sewing or outfits, but I am a jack of all trades. I'm a Renaissance woman. I refuse to be held back by algorithmic limitations. I want to do all the things. I will dabble in all the mediums, okay? So if you made it to the end of this video, leave a little sewing needle emoji. And thank you very much for hanging out with me today on this kind of all over the place crafting video. Subscribe if you'd like to hang out again. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> See you guys next time. Goodbye. And I'll dip it in the welted mat. Welted Max? <laughs> and then I'll dip it in the melted wax. <laughs> <laughs>